I wanted to talk a bit about incorporating LSI into your content. LSI stands for Latent Somatic Indexing, and basically what this means is if you have a website that's about credit cards, then you, the search engines want to see that you're using other words related to credit cards. Now, back in the old days, um, people would build searches sites and, and say, okay, this site's about credit cards, and then they would just go ahead and their other keywords in that, that site would be like credit cards cards and credit card holder and credit card loan just I mean, all kinds of things with credit card in it however LSI means finding other words that are related to credit cards that only somebody that knows something about credit cards would be able to identify so something like uh, you know debt or bankruptcy or FICO these are all terms that are related to credit cards but do not have credit or card in it and basically what uh, what the search engines are doing is they're, they're getting a lot smarter um, I know that Google for example is is scanning in a lot of, of books and documents and other types of media just to so they're just not relying on websites to, to show them what's important so let's say for example that uh, you have a, a website that's about uh, you know, the, the state of Minnesota and uh, well, Google has went ahead and they've, they've skinned in all these encyclopedias that have all these information about what they think a site about Minnesota would have. So the thing is that they, they want to find that people that are building sites are actually experts on the topic. And to be an expert, you want to make sure that you're using related words that, that they're in your industry, um, words that are that only an expert would know. That's what I'm trying to say here. So how in the world do you find these words? Well, that, that's an excellent question. There are a few paid resources out there that you can go to that will tell you some some things that are related to your your niche. That will tell you the LSI terms in your niche. Uh, NicheBot is something that I personally have not used, but I have heard from from other people that it does work and it does give you a, a key into finding out some of those LSI words. Uh, another thing you can do is just simply look at synonyms for your 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 word. If you're, you know, site about credit cards, you look up credit cards in a dictionary or a thesaurus to find out other synonyms related to credit cards. Another thing you could do is pick up an article about credit cards and just start going through there and, and noting the things that are being talked about in that niche. And chances are those are words that are related to your, your content, but not, you know, super close like credit card debt, but actually something that's different than credit cards. So uh, hopefully you can understand where I'm going with this, but it's, it's, it's important. And one thing you might be thinking to yourself is, well, you know, as long as you're writing high quality content, you're already going to naturally be including things that are LSI related, and that's fantastic. The reason that I mention it is because some people, they don't. They, you know, they just try to use credit card as many times as they can because they want to make high for credit card. And I just want to point out to you that it is just as important to be using words that are related to credit card as it is credit card itself.